remember at the time, there was a certain look for scripted shows that was very massaged. You had this nice, classy, pastel look to them. Every other show had all kinds of lights and cameras and action and rehearsal and scripts. Cops came along, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> boys, It absolutely caught your attention. It just didn't exist in the landscape of primetime television. Bad boys, bad boys. It's pretty extraordinary. You can smell it, you can taste it. It was the start, really, of reality. With the success of Cops, John Langley showed that programs that were done not with actors and not with scripts could compete alongside much more expensive shows. John had this very simple idea, which was riding along with Cops, complete cinema verite. He had pitched it to three networks before and had been rejected. And I was a young executive at Fox. I didn't know any better, so it was a great idea to me, and we made the pilot. John said that if you let the camera tell the story, you can put together something that's really compelling. John knew from the beginning what the show was. He knew that the inherent drama in following the daily life of a cop was better than anything you could possibly write. Get your hands straight up, straight up! And he knew how to protect that from the very beginning. He didn't want narration. He didn't want music. He didn't want soap opera. He just said, I just want to see how they behave. That's the show. <laughs> this little show, Cops, blew me away. It blew everybody away who had seen it. John, of course, being broke, was going, is it going to get picked up? And I said, of course it's going to get picked up. And then, boom, it just exploded. The number one reality show in the country. Don't move. Number one in key demos. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? The network was still very much in its infancy, and John helped establish this image that Fox was going to think outside the box. A lot of the decisions he made as a producer took a long time for the rest of the world to catch up, but he happened to be right. I remember in the second year, top-level Fox executive said, you know, this song, Bad Boys, it's not right for the show. It doesn't exactly fit. Why don't you replace it? And John said, fuck him. I'm not going to replace it. Cops, 25-year run. Primetime's longest-running entertainment series. Is that right? As far as a regular entertainment series, Cops is now the last one standing. Looking at all the best ideas of network television, I'll never see another idea so simple and so pure. And he knew it very much from the beginning. So to his credit, he saw that shape inside that marble. I hate cops! Go to hell!